one of the 10 biggest banks operating in America, the British bank SSBC was under fire for using their bank to enable drug lords, even suspected terrorists. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross tracked down the men at the top. It is one of the world's best known banks. And in its commercials, HSBC boasts of being the bank of choice for everyone. HSBC, the world's local bank. According to today's Senate report, among those who have made it their bank of choice are the ruthless leaders of Mexican drug cartels, suspected Al-Qaeda money men, and the Iranian government trying to get around U.S. embargoes. You need to have a bank that's willing to take you on as a customer, uh, knowing that your customers are dodgy, your relationships are bad, and you're in illegal activity and internal documents show HSBC executives knew exactly what they were doing. We are allowing organized criminals to launder their money, wrote one executive. Today, bank executives sheepishly admitted there had been cover-ups of the relationships and suspect accounts were left open for years. Is there any way that that should have been allowed to happen at the time? Uh, no, Senator. One HSBC executive admitted he made the decision to move money for a Saudi bank that a CIA report says helped finance al-Qaeda around the time of the 9-11 attacks. Did you believe what you wrote at that time? Uh, at that moment, uh, yes. As to whether HSBC should lose its U.S. banking license, its senior executive here today did not want to talk. My about question it. is, is your bank allowed to operate in this country, given the help you've given drug dealers and suspected terrorists? Brian Ross, ABC News, Washington.